In this video, we're gonna go through some information about this vase. You'll remember last month, I made this vase, showed you how to create these ribbed vases. And it's quite a big vase from uh, the perspective of me making it on my 3D printer. Would um, present an issue, it's a long print, and I don't have any blue PLA. So I'm gonna show you what I did and how I did it to have this made and then sent to me. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. So what I did is I went to a site, it's called Justway. And you go to justway.com and you will find a way to manufacture parts. And here's what I did. I went on this site and I loaded my CAD file into here. So what you need to do is you're gonna export this part as a step file. So you literally just select the part, file, export and then i pick step as an option from here so step file and then i can create it wherever i want to create it i already have it created there so i'm not going to actually export it again but i have it there created now what i do is i go to that just way website and if I don't already have an account, I would create an account. It's a good idea. Um, I am going to just sign in because I do already have an account. So I will sign in quickly. And once I'm signed in, I can see all of my options here, all of my parts that I've had made. Um, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go back to that page to create my new part. So all I need to do is if I'm on justway.com is to upload my design. And I'm gonna take my file, my step file, and I'm just gonna drop it there. Now, when I first drop it in, you can see at the top here, this is CNC machining. I don't want it to be machined because obviously that's gonna be an expensive um, situation I could have it made out of sheet metal again I don't think that's a good idea for this particular thing an injection molding if I was going to do mass production of it that might be a thing I'd want to do or even vacuum casting might be something I want to do but in this case we're going to 3d print it so we're going to 3d print this part and then we go through here we say our design units are in millimeters we want to do it in PLA and then I can select a color. I'm gonna do it in blue. It's an FDM process. I can pick my infill here. So if I say 40% maybe, and uh, go through the options here. Surface finish is not an option in um, printing. And then I can put any information here that I have that I'm concerned about. And then what I would do is once I get to the end of all these things, printing wrist wall, thickness wrist taken, non-standard printed threads wrist taken. So the final thing I have to do is just pick a quantity. I'm gonna pick one. And if you look here, I can already see it's 2315 to get this one made. Now, before you uh, get too excited about the 2315, of course you have to pay shipping. So the VAT and freight are separate. For me, this actual piece cost about $53 because I had it sent via DHL. Um, so you're looking at a significant amount of shipping cost when you do it. However, it's pretty cool. When I had it done, um, I basically sent it. The shipping is gonna arrive here on Friday. Um, so it's taking about a week turnaround time uh, this is something that is bigger than I would want to print on my own printer and it makes it very affordable if it's something that you're doing for you know a proof of concept or you're doing something that you want to keep or you're doing something that you spend a lot of time designing it takes all of the um, failure mode all of the, the concern about you know you're doing a 24-hour print and it crashes after 15 hours yep we've all been there uh, all of that's taken away from you and they actually make it. Now, they did send me the video of them printing it. So I'm show you that now. It looks pretty cool. I can see they're 
3D printer is a lot more professional than mine. I'm using an Ender 3 when I do my printing. Um, clearly this thing that they got is is way faster and way better than, than what I have. Uh, the video sped up, of course, so that's not real time. Um, once you get the part, uh, you basically have it in your hand and that's that's all there is to it. So you just decide on your, your manufacturing format and you send it away. Now the support that you get, if you put something in here, if there's something you're concerned about or there's something, you know, request you have, you will get a response via email. Um, these guys are in China, so, so our time zones might be different. Uh, so give them a chance to respond, but they've been very responsive to me. Every time I, I ask a question the, the next morning, I have the answer. So uh, very good in terms of turnaround time. And I'll show you the part here. I think it's actually uh, pretty amazing that you can do this online, one-offs, 3D prints, obviously very easy. I'm thinking about doing some CNC machining um, for uh, not this part, of course, but for some parts and you can see price wise here, this would be $228 to, to machine this part, which would be amazing for $228. If it was something I really needed machined. Um, I think I would look here and see what the price would be. Now, of course you have to ship it. So if I did this out of aluminum, aluminum in England, if you do it in, out of aluminum, then this guy is gonna be fairly heavy so I would expect the shipping would be even more um, than the shipping for a piece of plastic that I shipped so I think if I do something this way it's going to be smaller parts going to be probably quite a bit cheaper uh, but fantastic I just I am surprised that you can set this up get a price uh, you submit it once you submit this request they're going to review it and make sure it's something they can make and and do in the you know, for the price and make sure that it all works out for you because they don't want to try and make something that they know is not going to work. So uh, again, they'll they'll check it out and they'll make sure that uh, what you're trying to do is viable and then it's really cool. And if any of you guys are doing any like mass production of parts, um, you know, these, these uh, mass production parts of something like this, they create a mold and actually create it um, being able to do that in 15 to 25 business days is amazing. So I will tell you that when I used to create molds, um, I used to work as a tool maker creating uh, injection mold tools. It would take us a, you know, over a month to create a tool. So this is a fantastic turnaround. Um, if you have a company where you're doing proof concepts or you want to start you know, some mass production uh, or you're going to do small batch production, this would be fantastic and, and uh, a great way to, to turn things around. Now, I don't know what the price is here. Um, clearly, there's a, a first investment for the tool, so they would probably have to make that back. Um, if you had an expected annual uh, number that's high, I'm sure it makes it more affordable. So again, don't forget when you're selecting this stuff, I'm assuming most of you guys are gonna be doing 3D printing. Don't forget to select a quantity, the design units, the material that you want. And for some of you, if you don't print ABS and you want to see it in ABS, um, you absolutely can do that through here. So let's see what it would cost me, 46.30 in ABS. So it's going to obviously be a little bit more expensive. Uh, if I did it in TPU, it's even more expensive. PETG, about the same as ABS. Nylon, a little bit more. For doing resin so again it's uh it's one of those things where you need to make sure that what you're selecting and what you're doing here is sensible um, the pla thing for me too is being able to do it in different colors is fantastic because i don't want to hold all these colors i usually have white and black and that's all i i keep of pla um, so if you want it to be green you can certainly do that and then your infill, of course, select that, make sure you've got the right stuff. I would be really interested if any of you do this, um, I would be interested to see what it is you do and, and uh, how you get on with it. I do have a discount code and I'm gonna put that discount code in the description for this video. And then, so finally, I'm gonna show you this part and you guys can take a look at it. And I'm sure when we look at it here and we see the part, 
it's just going to be one of those things where you say, I think I have a use for that. And then you just have to consider whether or not you can afford to do it. For me, 60 bucks for this vase, I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't um, something that was sponsored for me uh, because this, I don't care that much about this vase. However, um, some of the projects I've done, I would pay 60 bucks to have them done uh, if, if I was getting them printed somewhere else. So um, just bear that in mind. This for me was a bit of a test. Uh, and it was a sponsored thing, so I didn't pay out of pocket. You know, full disclosure, I didn't pay out of pocket to have this done. Uh, but I'm quite excited about the results. Okay, so if you're interested in that, check below for the discount code that you would use. Uh, and that will get you a discount on being able to do it. And please let me know if it's something you use. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video.